So here is a simple table and I will show you some examples of using these various operators and we will explore them in a little bit more detail as we proceed. So firstly, we said this asterisk is multiplication. So for example, if I take these two large prime numbers and multiply them, I get a number that we saw in one of the earlier lectures. We know of course that this is not a prime, it's the product of these two numbers. Now you will notice that on the previous slide and on this slide, I have put spaces uh, on either side of the operators. This is purely a stylistic decision. Many programmers do this and in doing so their code is a little bit easier to read. If you wish you don't need to put these spaces but then everything will get squished up and that tends to be harder to read. So our suggestion is to follow a simple style to get used to and get comfortable with inserting spaces on either side. They're not necessary, but they do make your code a little bit easier to read. Now, because lots of people write code that way, you will often find that AI-generated code, uh, such as the code produced by ChatGPT or GitHub Copilot, will also put spaces on either side of operators. Again, this is because those generative AI systems have been trained on large amounts of human written code and humans tend to follow this good practice of writing clean, easy to read code. Now coming to this operator, remember this is true division. Now if you multiply two integers, the result is always an integer. In Python, we call this an int and we will understand this terminology in more detail later. If you divide two integers, like in this case 3 divided by 2, using the true division operation, the answer is not an integer. It's a special type called float, which once again we will take a look at in more detail. And this is not just the case when the answer is a fraction. 3 divided by 2 is of course 1.5. But even if the answer is not a fraction, 4 divided by 2 is the integer 2. But because the answer of true division is always a float, it will be represented as 2.0. So it's important to remember that even if you are operating with integers, when you do true division, the answer will always be a float. It will not be an integer and the exact difference between a float and an int will be clarified later on. Now let's come to this double forward slash which is the floor division operation. So the way to think about floor division is you do your normal division the way you're comfortable in mathematics and if the answer is a fraction you will always round downwards, which means you will always go in the direction of minus infinity. So, as an example, if I do 5 floor divide by 3, well, 5 divided by 3 is of course 1 point something. Now, I will get rid of the stuff after the decimal and I will round downwards towards the direction of negative infinity. So 5 divided by 3 will just be 1. So in this case you observe that the inputs are uh, integers, the arguments to this operation are integers and the answer is also an int. It's not 1.0. The percent operator is remainder. So 5 remainder 3, that's how we read it and that gives the answer too. This remainder operator is extremely useful if you want to check if a number is, let us say, even, then you would do a remainder with two. Uh, or if, as we have seen, when we want to check if a number is prime or not. This large number, we discovered it's not prime because we found a factor. So for example, this large number, remainder, 4111 
would give us the remainder 0 and that would convince us that this large number is in fact not prime. So do you remember in an earlier lecture we asked is it the case that you can easily check if one number is a factor of another and I asked you to uh, go along with me that yes uh, checking if one number is a factor of another is a basic operation. Well, this is what I was hinting at. In many programming languages, you have an operator like this that can very quickly tell you in one basic step if one number is the factor of another. Now, the technical uh, definition of remainder is a little bit tricky, especially when we're dealing with negative integers as we will see later on. For now, I'm just going to put up the technical definition here and we will walk through an example on the next slide where we will explore this definition in more detail. Python also has another operator for exponentiation. So 5 star star 3 is 5 to the power 3 which is 125. So let's test our understanding with what we have learnt. So firstly, in the REPL, if I say what is minus 5, flaw, uh, true division 3, that is of course minus 1.66666 repeating forever. Observe that Python finally truncates this with a 7. So you can see that this is an approximation. Now let's take this as a fact and I want you to predict the results of these three operations. What would happen if we do minus 5 floor division 3? Please note the difference between true division and floor division. What would happen if we do minus 5 remainder 3, keeping in mind this technical definition? And lastly, what would happen if you do 0 raised to the power 0? What I would suggest is open up the Python REPL and try and see if you can try these yourself.